Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, June 29th, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. For a while now, we are running this first scene URL page that basically looks at all the submissions we are getting from the honeypots you all are running for us. And they're looking sort of for new URLs that are showing up there. Of course, you know, sometimes just small variations of like yet another WordPress or JAWS botnet or whatever. But the last couple of days, there was one little odd URL and the attacker here was looking for a file called radio.txt. After some uh, Googling and uh, checking with some of our other handlers, turns out that uh, the attacker here is likely looking for high by uh, music uh, devices. These are Android based music players, sort of a little uh, touch screen, and they're running a special piece of software called high by music in order uh, to play music. And apparently there's a radio.txt file that defines what particular uh, URLs are being used by different uh, online uh, radio stations stations. So it looks like attackers are looking for this file and not 100% clear why there don't appear to be at least any sort of critical public vulnerabilities in these devices. There was a directory traversal which doesn't really sound that terribly bad. Of course there could be some uh, vulnerabilities that we aren't aware of but another angle on this is that since users of the devices tend to customize this radio.txt file it could just be an attempt to enumerate a different urls uh, people are using for their online radio stations maybe to find some hidden or uh, private uh, urls here that users wouldn't be willing uh, to share publicly it just kind of scans if you have one of those devices uh, wouldn't mind hearing from you to uh, figure out, you know, what some of uh, the angles are here because I don't have one of these uh, devices myself. And we got uh, some interesting and hopefully not too bad in the end, uh, OpenSSL uh, trauma going around. And it's related to the OpenSSL update that was released last week, OpenSSL version 3.04 with the uh, Three zero actually being uh, the uh, current sort of uh, supported branch of OpenSL. So uh, most uh, operating systems that are reasonably current are using OpenSL version three zero. Three zero four actually fixed a vulnerability uh, that um, was sort of introduced earlier and not uh, completely uh, fixed. But three zero four also introduces an interesting heap-based buffer overflow, but that's only on CPUs that have the AVX five twelve extension enabled. This extension introduces some five hundred twelve bit capabilities. Uh, it's not all that terribly easy to figure out which CPUs do have the extensions, which ones don't. The most recent sort of 12th generation actually don't have them. It's sort of the generation before that that has uh, these extensions enabled. The result could be data leakage. Uh, it could also lead to uh, arbitrary code execution within the OpenSL developer community. There is some dispute whether or not this is actually exploitable in that form, but there should be a 305 release coming out soon that will fix this vulnerability. Some of the Linux distributions have not yet rolled out uh, this 304 release, so you you're probably good, but uh, as soon as 305 comes out, you probably do want to apply it. I'll link to a great blog post by Gudu Rankin, who uh, writes about some of the details of this vulnerability and better than uh, I can cover it here in a couple minutes in this podcast. And we got an interesting write up from Lumens Black Lotus Lab. Uh, they saw a interesting piece of malware that attacked home routers. Now, when we're looking at home router malware, we usually find you know, stuff like Mirai or such, nothing terribly interesting or sophisticated at this point that just scans for more victims. Uh, this particular malware that they're calling Suo Rat actually 
goes a step further. It appears to be somewhat based on Mirai, at least part of the scanning engine. It attacks vulnerabilities in your usual suspect uh, home router brands. But once it infects a home router, it does actually intercept traffic. It uh, captures packets. It also can be used to scan the network behind the home router. And apparently uh, this particular malware is used sort of in a more targeted fashion meaning that uh, if these attackers are attempting uh, to breach a certain corporation's network, they're actually not um, attacking the corporation's network. Instead, they're going after home users who are working uh, for that corporations and then attack uh, these vulnerable home routers. Well, and this is it for today. Uh, thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.